So next, we're going to look at diffraction uh, past one obstacle. So what you can see here is the wave, plane wave is coming in and there's just an obstacle here creating an edge. There's nothing on this side. Now what we're going to do here, you will get a low, a small level of diffraction as you come past it so the wave will spread out slightly. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to use our ruler to create a straight edge there and then just estimate a small angle there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to measure how far these apart there should be about five millimeters five, yeah, about five millimeters so starting here one, two three four five one 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 two three four five three four five now uh, you can do a very light construction on this side if you want, construction line even, uh, just to have an edge to them, although the waves could be carried on if, if uh, you want. Now, I'm just going to draw all of these, and I'm using this line on the ruler to make sure the waves are at 90 degrees to the direction of travel. Sorry, not travel, propagation. Now, what I'm going to do with this bit, I'm just going to take a best estimate and I'm going to create a curve, a small level of curve on each one, trying to maintain a constant distance there, but I'm just estimating that, okay? So that's all you need to do. Just move the camera a little bit, you can see it a bit better. There you go. So those should be your lines. I'm just going to rub out the construction lines. Oh. That's why we wait a little bit longer on the bar. That's just snubs for this a bit. So you just wait a little bit longer with your ink. I could go over those a little bit if I wanted to. There we go. That is your diagram for diffraction past one obstacle.